Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, what do I look for and what calculations do I use when finding tax, tip, discounts, and commissions? So let's start with tax. Tax is a percentage of the total cost of goods or services that is added to the total cost. So to find the tax, we will find the tax percentage and then add it to the total cost. So let's practice that with this one. It says an $800 phone with an 8% tax rate. Let's find the taxes and then we'll add it back to find the total cost. So to find the taxes, I would take the $800 cost and multiply it by 8% as a decimal, which would be 0 0.08. So 800 times 0 0.08 is going to tell me the taxes. And I get $64. So the taxes would be $64. And then to find the total cost, I would take the original $800 phone and add the taxes to it. So 800 plus $64 would be $864. So that's taxes, you add it back to the total amount. Tipping is similar. Tips are a percentage of the total bill for services. It is added to the total cost. So same thing, we'll find the percentage and then add it back to find the total cost. So let's look at this one. It says a $40 food delivery with a 20% tip. So the first thing I wanna do is find the tip. I'll do the original $40 times 20% as a decimal, which would be 0.2. So 40 times 0.2 would be $8. So now to find the total cost, the tip was $8. I would take my original $40 and add the $8 tip to it, and I would get $48. Okay, let's talk about discounts. So a discount is a percentage of the total cost, but this time it is subtracted from the total cost. So we'll find the discount the same way. We'll find the percentage and then we will subtract it from the total cost. So let's look at this one. It says an $80 pair of pants that is 40% off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find the discount. I'm gonna do the $80 times the discount is 40%. So I would do times 0.4 and 80 times 0.4 is $32. So the discount would be $32. And now to find the total cost, I would take that $80 and then subtract the $32 discount from it. So 80 minus 32 is $48. So the total cost would be $48. Okay, let's look at commission. So commis commission is another percentage of the sales that is often, that's supposed to say added to an employee's base salary. So they usually can earn commis commission from their sales and then we will add it to their base salary. So let's look at this one right here. It says $250 base weekly salary plus 20% in commission on $1,000 of sales. So the first thing I wanna find is the commission, which is going to be 20% of the $1,000 of sales. So to find the commission, I will take the $1,000 in sales and multiply it by 20% or 0.2. So 1,000 times 0.2 is $200. So they would earn $200 in commission. And now to find the total pay, I would take their base pay, which was $250, and add the $200 to it, which would be $450. Okay, let's look at number one. It says, Selena buys groceries for $90. She asks one of the employees to help her load them into her car and gives them a 15% tip. How much was the tip that Selena gave the employee? So all we are doing here is finding the tip. So I just need to find the percentage of her bill and I will be done. So her groceries were $90 and she's going to tip them 15% of that. So times 0.15. 
and 90 times 0.15 is $13.50. So she would be giving them a $13.50 tip. All right, number two says, Billy manages the electronics section at a super grocery store. He receives a bi-weekly paycheck of $375 plus 25% commission on his sales. If Billy made 750 in sales last week, what was his total paycheck? So this time I'm wanting to find the total, so I'm gonna find his commissions, and then I will add it back to his base pay. So let's find his commissions first. He made $750 in sales and he's gonna make a 25% commission in that. So 750 times 0.25 will tell us his commissions, which would be 187 dollars and 50 cents. So he made $187 and 50 cents in commission. And now I want to find his total. So I'm going to take his base pay of 375 and add it back to that. So 187.50 plus the base pay of 375, he would get $562 and 50 cents. Okay, let's look at number three. Kelly runs into the grocery store on her way to work to buy a plant for her, for her coworker. If the plant costs $12.50 and the tax rate is 10%, how much did Kelly pay in total? So I'm finding the total. So once I find the tax, I will add it back to the original cost. So let's start by finding the tax. The plant was $12.50 and the tax rate is 10%. So I'm gonna multiply the $12.50 by point. 10 and 12.50 times 0.10 is a dollar 25. So she's going to pay a dollar 25 in taxes, but I'm not done. It wanted me to find the total. So now I'm going to add the original cost back to it, and that would be $13.75 in total for that plant plus the tax. Number four says AJ manages the produce section in a grocery store. Several watermelons are about to go bad, so he puts them on sale for 25% off. How much will a watermelon cost if it was originally $5? So I want to find the discount, and then since I'm finding the cost in total, I will subtract the discount at the end of it. So let's start by finding the discount. Original watermelon was $5.00 times 25% off would be 0.25. So five times 0.25 is $1.25. So the discount is $1.25. And now to find the cost with the discount, I would do five minus $1.25, which is $3.75.